Hi, I'm Star. I'm Kat. And this is our first YouTube video together. So for our dessert, we'll need the base part, which will be the pretzels. So we have two cups of crushed pretzels, three-fourths of melted butter, and we'll need about three tablespoons of sugar. For the filling part, we're going to need powdered sugar, vanilla, and cream cheese. And for the filling, there's really no specific amounts, it's just by preference. For the topping, we'll be using this strawberry jam with some fresh cut strawberries. So right now, what we'll do is mix the melted butter with our pretzels and add three tablespoons of sugar. So at this point, the pretzel part should look something like this. So before we place our pretzel mixture in, we want to make sure that we have a grease pan. Grab the pretzel mix and you firmly press it onto a 13 by 9 inch dish. Do the pressing. And press all around the whole dish. Make sure it's everywhere. So these are the results of firmly putting it into the pan. And there you go. It's preheating. With the filling, we are going to make a cream cheese frosting. So right now, I have a package of softened cream cheese. I'm just going to add that in. And again, this isn't really specific. It's just how, you, how sweet you want it and all that. I'm going to get about a cap full of vanilla. And for right now, I'm going to put about half of, yeah, one cup of powdered sugar. are going to get our crust. I'm going to put it in here for 10 minutes. And we start it. See, it looks nice and crusty. Alright. So this is the result of my cream cheese frosting. Now, me and Kat wanted to spice things up and put a little food coloring just to give it a nice pink color to match strawberries. You can use any color and any amount, too. So after the frosting is done and you like it, now it's time to put it on, on your pretzels. So you could just evenly distribute it so it's all nice. All right, so to, right now we're going to make the fruit topping. We're going to empty this whole jar. All right. And you just need about four strawberries of chia seeds. So these are the good kinds. And we're going to put about a teaspoon not that much, like that. So now that the layers are cooled, we're going to put our fruit topping on top. And just spread it all around. 